Okay, um, I have tried my hand in astrophotography, but before that I used to draw um, with pencil on white paper. And uh, the result was not bad, I liked it. I show a sample of my work and you can see this is a kind of in the style of the ancient miniature works. This is uh, one of the works, it's not pen on pencil, but uh, this is just one of the miniature works I've drawn. Another one is this. And this is my take on the Van Gogh's Starry Night with a twist. If you see the twist here. And uh, I have also also photographed uh, with the uh, oldest camera. I had a Zenit camera. I used to get the Konica 3200 ISO film. And I was able to get some good results just by a you know, wide angle view. This is a normal lens I used. And I used actually to get a very good result showing the, for example, things like Orion Nebula in the constellation, big constellation of Orion. Or your nebula, and I have not yet achieved that level with any of these DSLRs. I must say, in the wide angle view, to show the detail that I could see, the pick up the colors, everything, with that normal lens of the, the Russian Zenit that I had, and uh, these Canon's digital cameras, I don't think they have reached the stage of the old uh, uh, film photographs in the sense of you know being sensitive to the light. And so I decided to do some astrophotography, as you can see here. Do you see some details? The, some of the details are lost. For example, trapezium here. I have other pictures that may show the trapezium better. And uh, for example, this is one of my first attempts on uh, taking the trapezium. Uh, here you may not see it clearly because it's a little blown out in the, when I'm filming it, uh, videoing. But in the original picture you can see that. And I have a blown up part of it that you can actually clear, see the trapezium again. And here you can see the more clear. But never you can actually achieve the detail that you see with the eye. Uh, camera picks some details and you don't see those details in your eye. Uh, and your eye sees detail that you don't see with the camera. So. To resolve this uh, contradiction, I today went and bought uh, some, uh, myself some paper. This is a black paper that I can use, uh, a gift pack of a black paper, oh, it's nice sometimes to give yourself a gift, and uh, some, again, some paper to work on it, again, black. I have white ones, but black ones are is easy because uh, it's surprise, surprise. There used to be uh, uh, apps and other things you could actually turn the black on white paper to negative. Uh, negative picture was common in the t mobile phone apps and other things. You cannot find that anymore. It seems it's very specialist tool. They want to sell it to you. They don't give it for free. So I'm going back to this. Uh, um, using the black paper with the white and I've got uh, some Conte pastel pencils some different uh, colors of it I mean shades of the white maybe this one is gray and I'm going to use this and uh, and enjoy the result So wish me luck, astrophotography very good, but I like to work some in some ways in the visual also. Uh, in a way it can be more accurate and less fussy. And for example, I saw the Zeta or Sigma Orionis the other night and I could resolve it with a um, Teleview 40 millimeter plus op. Beautiful. Also with the max region 40 millimeter, I could easily resolve them and just beautiful. But finding any picture of them is difficult. You don't find all the pictures you see is uh, overexposed photographs online.
and no drawings nobody has drawn this so this is something that i can draw actually and i'm going to do this and i'm going to explore this for myself for my own curiosity and just uh, if it is good enough i'll just share it with the rest of the world you can see it like that and wish me good luck astrophotography good results i like to do a little more Okay, for doing these drawings, I start uh, during the daylight in my room, I start to draw with a white uh, pencil the dots uh, which represent the stars from the pictures like this one that I have. Then on the telescope, uh, using a torch which has cellophane, red cellophane, or you can use a uh, red light torch uh, and draw the nebulosity you see the nebulosity you see is different from what you see here so that is a good attempt to draw it this is just one example the stars like sigma or yonis that i mentioned it's a beautiful multiple star binary star it has around i think eight components around you six components and i could see four of them easy uh, even more probably six and uh, so drawing them will be a nice thing to do and i'm going to try that so my style will be first draw the stars then add the details like nebulosities and other things at the eyepiece if the object is a deep sky object like this for stars and binary stars i can do it on the on, on the spot when i'm observing the telescope for that you need of course a good chair have observer observation chair so I'll be using it.